Hey there friends, Dibs again. Out in the garage tonight. Just got to want to do a quick mail call for you guys. I got a whole bunch of stuff in. Uh, <clears throat> this and that uh, for fixing up a couple of guns on the channel and some new pellets and some parts and stuff. So wanted to uh, run down the, the gauntlet here real quick with you guys. Um, let's see, first of all, I stopped at a local shop here and they had a nice tin of these, uh, just kind of a, a vintage tin of old game -o pellets. I thought that was pretty cool. Pick that up for cheap. But uh, let's get into the mail call. Got a pretty good amount of stuff here. Um, no particular order. Uh, let's see here. Uh, get my razor knife here. So what this is, uh, so let's see, they've got a warning here. It says, warning, uh, firearm parts may require fitting to safely work in guns. So, but uh, it's probably a story behind that one from this uh, company here. But what we have here is, these are little uh, scope mounting blocks. And uh, if, I'll post up a picture here, but what I'm going to be doing is there's actually holes drilled up here in the front of this guy and I'm going to mount that there and actually underneath there there's another hole that's going to go there and I'm going to be mounting this I actually have others I can mount on there too if, if this one doesn't fit quite right but um, I've got this Fecker branded scope and that will slide onto those two I'll obviously take that uh, peep sight off of there first and I'll probably pull the front globe off as well but uh, I think this will be a lot of fun to shoot with uh, draw a lot of attention <laughs> for sure uh, but uh, this is a, I believe this one is a 16X. These, these older Feckers were not marked with the power of them. I have one that's like a 12 and the other one's a 16. And I don't remember which one I have. I have one mounted on a gun and the other one that wasn't mounted on a gun. So, um, but those will be going on there. Uh, I just got to find. So I got to figure out what thread that hole is on the front. And then the hardware in the back here goes down and mounts into the block that holds the uh, cocking arm. So I got to figure out what thread bolts those are and buy those as well. So we'll be doing that. I'll put that over here. Let's see what's next. Uh, this is. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff, bunch of parts that I ordered for different guns to fix. Let's see what we got in here. What is this little brochure? Stop, who do you think I am? Oh, okay. The guy sent a little, oh, I gotta get you back over to me here, sorry. Uh, the guy sent a little uh, Christian track in there, which I'm cool with, I'm a Christian man myself, so, but uh, this is uh, from Cowboy, pa Cowboy Pawpaws Collectibles.com uh, and he sells collectibles but he also sells Daisy air gun parts and uh, what this is is and I think it takes a specific special size I, I believe uh, this is specially sized but this is going to be a new piston and abutment seal for this Daisy model 1894 they call this their spit and image collection this was actually the first gun to come out in that collection so I, I took that gun apart and it was needing some other repairs but I got that done and, but the piston seal was kind of chewed up and, and hard as a rock so it wasn't going to hold 
produce any enough air to be of any any use to me or anybody else. So that gun is one that's on loan to the channel. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, guess what that is. <laughs> I've ordered a couple of tins of pellets, so I'm not sure which one this is. Okay, so these are the rifle rifle ones. I, I found that I really like these rifle pellets a lot, so I, I had used up just about my whole tin of the premium 22 caliber ones, so I ordered another, another tin of those. There we go. So these are the uh, 22 caliber they're a 16.82 grain, so they're kind of a, a heavier 22 caliber pellet. Those are cool. We've got a couple more here. I know who this one's from. This one's from Henry Ford. Um, got a couple of guns I sent down to him for repair. I haven't heard from him yet with an estimate on those, but I'm sure I will pretty soon. Uh, but what we have here is a seal kit. <clears throat> this one's going to need a lot of... A lot of work, but uh, this Crossman 180 that uh, also got from the old fella at the gun shop wants me to take a look at for him, so we're going to reseal that one. So there's that. That's uh, another project for, for the garage here. And we got one more, so there's only one, one thing this could be. <laughs> but uh, we can get it open and we'll see what it is. packing for one tin of pellets. <laughs> That's all this is going to be here. So, so we have, uh, so Andy over at Andy's Air Gun Review, he's in Great Britain. He did a review on these, this brand of pellets um, recently. And I said, oh, we'll search those out and see if I can find some. But uh, it's a Chinese brand. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Quang Wan uh, Training, uh, Sports Diablos. And uh, apparently these are really good pellets. Yeah, I mean, I can tell just by looking at them right off the bat that Everything's very uniform. There's no there's no casting lines on them at all. Very very nice. I don't see any. But he did a really good review on them, weighing them, and they're very very consistent weights. So we'll go ahead and we'll be doing a review on those. Quang Wangs. Uh, Quang Yuan Sports Diablo. They call them QIS for short, but uh, there you go. We got our piston assembly for the model 1894. We got our seal kit for the Crossman model 180. We got some scope mounts for the Gamo Super Match. That'll be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and a couple of tins of pellets, but uh, good stuff. I do have a couple of new. You no know, uh, air guns coming real soon. Maybe one of them is showing tentatively delivery for tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Uh, but I'll let you guys wait and see what that's going to be. But uh, anyway, there you go. Nice little mail call. Some some good projects for the for the channel. Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time. Have a great day.